like catching fish, but what I really love is being out here in, in country like this. And there's no place like Colorado to find so many streams that uh, have, are just as gorgeous as this place. You don't catch as many fish <laughs> fly fishing uh, as regular fishing uh, because what you're trying to do is to attract the fish to a pattern, a fly pattern, that is above the water, a, a fly that the fish are seeing. So that's the primary goal, is to, is to get a fly on top of the water uh, that looks like something that the fish is used to eating and that they'll come up to and eat. Mostly fly fishing is catch and release, so you want to make sure that you catch the fish in a manner that you can release it. I have to tell you, I am so grateful uh, that uh, I'm able to do this. Uh, I'm grateful that, um, it, that uh, somebody taught me how to fish. <laughs> I'm grateful that we have such terrific scenery. I'm grateful, in fact, uh, to be alive. I probably would have died of colon cancer 20 years ago. I had had some rectal bleeding beforehand, and at the time, I was a gastroenterology fellow. This was in the 1970s. And we didn't think about rectal bleeding as a cause of colon cancer in 32-year-olds uh, at that time. Fortunately enough, uh, I, my mentor in my uh, GI fellowship um, was willing to let me do a colonoscopy on him so that we'd have some normal tissue in order to do these studies that we were trying to do. And he was smart enough to say, I, I told him, his name was Bill, and I said, Bill, you're about 50 years old and we could do screening for you where screening is recommended at 50 uh, and we could do this. And so we did that and he didn't have anything serious. Uh, and he said, yeah, and you're about 32. And if we did you, we'd have two, wouldn't we? Uh, and I said, fair enough. Uh, and so at my colonoscopy, Bill found a very large uh, adenomatous polyp, a tubular villus adenomatous polyp in the rectum with high grade dysplasia. High grade dysplasia is the immediate precursor to colon cancer. We know that screening works. We know that the incidence and mortality of colon cancer screening has been decreasing in this country uh, overall uh, for the last 25 years. And it's not decreasing in a trivial way. It's decreased by 30 to 40% over the last 25 years. A dramatic decrease in risk of uh, colon cancer. Largely, it's thought that that decrease is due to screening. Whether you catch fish or not, this is what life is all about. This is what we have to take advantage of. This is what we live for. Uh, and this is why we need to catch it in time. <laughs>